Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and in this video, I will be going over how to use and navigate DigiShow on Gamma OS. This assumes you already have Gamma OS installed. If you are needing help installing it, I will have a link in the description to my install guide. Let's start with navigation. By default, hitting the R2 or L2 buttons cycle through different systems on the main screen. You can also use the touch screen to navigate by swiping left and right. The R1 and L1 buttons cycle through the tabs at the top. Platforms, widgets, apps, settings. You can also tap on the tab itself to go directly there. Another option is to use the analog stick or D-pad to navigate by hitting up or down to switch which row you are changing when you hit left or right. You use the A button to select and the B button to go back. Also, when hitting the select button, we'll bring up a search feature. Now let's move on to linking your ROMs to the systems. In order to do that, you will need to select the Paths button here, then tap Add More. Tap the three lines in the top left. If the ROMs are stored in the internal storage, you will click the top option here. If they are on an SD card like mine, you will select the second option. Then navigate to where the ROMs are located for this system. Tap Use This Folder and tap Allow. Then tap Sync and it will scan and scrape the artwork for your ROMs. Once completed, you can open the library by either tapping on Library, tapping on the large image itself, or just hitting the A button. You will now see all your games with box art. If you see any artwork mismatches, like this one for Zelda, I will show you how to fix that in a moment. But first, if you have a lot of games missing artwork, an option you can try is by going to Settings, tapping Library, and turning on Aggressive Scraping. This will be a little more loose with the name matching when scraping for games, and it will also increase the chances for mismatches. So unless you are having a lot of missing images, you may want to leave this off. So let's go back and fix that mismatch we had. You can tap and hold on a game to bring up more information about it, then tap on Edit Item, scroll down until you get to the Scraper keyword settings, a lot of times, the issue is with the name of the ROM. Here, I already know we are missing the word the in the title, so I will add that. Then, remove the old scraper keyword below by tapping on it, and tap on Add to List. Now scroll up and tap Edit Preview Media. Tapping one of these options lets you add custom box art you have on your SD or internal storage. While holding down on one, will remove the box art like I'm doing now. Then we will go to the bottom of this page, select Save and Scrape, and now you can see the scraped artwork is correct. If you want to change what emulator is running for a system, you can tap on this pencil icon here in the bottom right, then look for Player Settings, tap on the arrow of the default player field. The fastest way to get to the emulators for the system, look at the number on the far left-hand side. Here it shows 133, so scroll down to that number, and you will see a bunch of different emulator options. Click the one you want to use and tap Save. If you want to change the emulator for a specific game, go to that game, tap and hold, tap Edit Item, then scroll down to Custom Player and select one from this list. This will also work for standalone emulators that you download from the Play Store. If you are wanting to add more systems to the main screen, you will want to go to Settings, tap Library, Tap on Download Platforms, check any system that you would like to add, then tap Import Now. They will then show on the main screen. If you want to remove a system, tap on the pencil icon, and then tap on Delete in the bottom left. Agree to the warnings, and the system will be removed. If you want to change your theme, go to Settings and select Appearance, then tap Download Platform Wallpapers Pack. Select the theme you want to try and hit Download. When it finishes downloading, it will be applied.
For the default RetroArch hotkeys while playing a game, hitting the Home button and R1 toggles Fast Forward. Home button and L1 toggles Slow Motion. Home button and R2 saves the state. Home button and L2 loads the state. Home button and X toggles FPS. R3 and L3, aka both analog sticks, toggles the RetroArch menu. Now holding R3, R1, and L1 all at the same time cycles between different performance modes. Max performance is the first one. I'll go ahead and turn on fast forward so you can see how this affects performance. Normal and then power saving are the other ones. To extend your battery life, I would recommend running the lowest mode where you don't notice any performance drops. I have been able to get close to 20 hours battery life using the power saving feature while playing NES games. Holding L3, R1, and L1 toggles the Xbox button mapping mode. If you want to see what mode you're on or you forget these last two hotkeys, you can always swipe your finger from the top to bring up the menu, and you'll see these two display options showing you what mode you're currently on and the hotkeys for them. Then, holding the home button will back you out of the game. If we go to the widget page, you can customize the widgets by tapping New Widget and selecting one of the options here. I'll add Random, and I'll also add Retro Achievements. Now if I tap this Random button, it will give me a random game from my whole collection. In order for the Retro Achievements to work, you will need to go to Settings, Retro Achievements, and log in with your account credentials. All right, that about covers the basics for Daiji Show on Gamma OS. There are a lot of other settings and features. I encourage you to go explore on your own and see what you can find. If you find anything interesting that you want to share, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you found this video informative or helpful, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content from FireX Techs. And as always, thank you for watching.